Darwin to listen up to the proposal of an idea of a rock and metal city. A rock and metal city for rockers and metalheads to live all year round and not just at a and I just said a music festival such as, such as, such as Bakken. Now, uh, schools. There would be the basic schools, grade schools, high schools, and then we get into universities and colleges in the city. These colleges and universities would also have um, interests in rock and metal music as well, for they would have perhaps some rock and metal degrees, rock history, metal history, degrees or rock and metal composition composition degrees music you know degrees like that degrees you wouldn't really get anywhere else um, in terms of university and colleges as well perhaps you could have one like really good art school or we have a really good school where it's like a really good art program at the same time really good in like business and really good in science as well the city is like the city is like basically most other cities. You have your basic supply stores such as uh, hardware and grocery stores, electronic stores, and well, music stores. But like the difference between most major cities and this city's music stores would be that this city's music stores would be loaded with contents of metal and rock CDs and albums because of uh, the concentration of so many metalheads and rockers living in one area, the marketing strategy would incline that there would be no need to sell anything else but mostly like 95% rock and metal CDs and albums. And then the rest of the stuff would probably most likely be blues albums or classical like symphonic music. There would be, it would be a waste of money for marketers and team market research groups to indicate, or businesses in general, just to just to decide to sell hip hop albums in a majority metalhead city, what would that do? You'd be losing money, you'd be wasting money, and you would get nothing done. Also, onto the topic of radio stations, these the majority of the radio stations in the city would be rock and metal radio stations. That's a good thing, by the way. Because I live in a city, my, I live in a city myself where the majority of the music is pop music or hip hop music. So I want to change like that. I want there to be rock and metal radio stations, and I'm pretty sure most of you also agree with that. Um, most of them, at least, would be rock and metal. Not sure sure about all of them. If something like this were to happen, I'm not, I'm not sure what would happen. Um, you know, when you go into a store or a restaurant and they play music, well. Every single restaurant store would should play or is recommended to play rock and metal music of some form, as long as it's rock and metal music. We're trying we want to try to keep a theme here. We want to try to keep a theme here with this whole thing. Um, restaurants. You know when you go to a town, and all you see for miles on end are chain restaurants. You know like TGI Fridays and Chili's. And I don't know Culver's or Denny's. Or let's go like with McDonald's for example, White Castle, you know, Burger King, KFC, Popeyes. You know, I, I keep going on with this. The point is, we gotta have more than just than just than just that. We can't just have chain restaurants. I mean, I got no problem. I got like, I get, I mean, I kind of have a problem with it if it were just all chains because. And then there would be no mom and pop, you know, independent restaurants. So that should we should work on is something like that. And uh, come on, let's be honest here. We would you rather have Domino's pizza or nice oven baked with coal or wood burning oven pizza. I'm pretty sure everyone knows the answer to that now. Um, but like, we shouldn't like at the same time like ban all fast food chains I mean I'm pretty sure some people like would still like you know have like a McDonald's or something like that no problem with that so like but again like it's really all up to like if this all works out in the first place and like how people are gonna react and what the demands of the people living in this area would be uh, in terms of sports yes there would be sports because 
I think that it's so good to have sports. Um, and I know that some of the metalheads out there also like sports and rock and rock rock fans also like sports at the same time they like music so sports would be you know grade school high school sports you know um, and at the university level as well um, hey you know if we can go any farther than that why not have a team for the major leagues the MLB the NBA and the NFL you know we can have like a um, we have teams like that um, like with rock and metal themed Names. I don't know. Come up with come up with a random, come up with a random uh, football team name that has to do with heavy metal music or rock music, or heavy metal and rock music. Yeah, you know, come up with some random sports teams name, sport team names that have to do with heavy metal and rock music. Um, the city will hope be the city will hopefully be home to home to industries as well. Some of them center around rock and metal music. Um, with other industries as well, you know, because we need jobs to run, and that would that's gonna like make everything good, and like you know, if we have jobs, it like uh, keeps everything in line, keeps everything good, and uh, other topics, you know, like include like transportation, you know, if like we could have this kind of city, we could have like a train system and a bus system, and that would be wonderful. Um, TV stations um, let's have our own I think eventually we should have some pioneers out there who want to make a TV station devoted to rock and metal music because let's face it MTV's just not doing that most of the VH, VH1 stuff isn't doing that unless you consider VH1, VH1 classic uh, and also in terms of entertainment so like just pioneering people in general. Um, festivals. There's also the idea of festivals. So we can have our own music festivals, or we can have existing music festivals that come into town. You know, such as Mayhem Festival. Also, we should try to have a music festival in the United States that is very big and very popular and would attract people from around the world. Same thing, like Bakken, like like America's Bakken, basically. So there's that. Also, different types of festivals. Uh, we want to try to have like artistic stuff. So like film festivals, perhaps that would be good. I think it would be good if we have like other types of festivals as well, like film festivals, for example. Um, so like overall, this would be like a rock and metal city. Metalheads and rockers would be like living in this area. Like that would be that would be the majority of people for the area, and. Uh, I think it would be awesome if something like this could happen. Um, as in terms of a location, um, I thought of like two areas. One would be the western coast of the, of the U.S. and the other would be Montana because Montana is sparsely populated like crazy. Like they have barely anyone living there. Well, I mean they have people living there but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of land still there. So Montana or an area like Montana would be good. So I mean, those are two possible locations. Um, I think that if something like this could ever happen, that would be amazing and awesome. And I would like that myself if it did happen. I think it would be a great place to go, especially if, if I lived in another city. I wanted to just get away from my city because like I want to just like spend the day in paradise why well, I think this would be paradise to me you know like just being like in a complete like metal heavy metal rock and roll environment you know free from outside influences of hip hop and other like pop music for example you know and most and like like almost like no like outside influences like that and just be mostly just rock and metal music you know so like that would be awesome I think most people on here on listening to this would agree with that. Now, in terms of like actually this happening, becoming a reality, um, well, I mean that's if it that would take a lot of work, you know, that would be quite a long shot. But I mean, like if we really desire something like this, and I know a lot of you out there would desire something like this, 
I even saw YouTube comments from metalheads and rockers. See, I'm, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm the kind of YouTuber guy who likes to read through comments for some reason. I like to read through the comment section on YouTube of videos. Any video, really. So, and he's like, you know, I live in a small town in Canada, 100,000 people, and I'm like one of the few metalheads there, and people look at me weird and stuff like that, and it's like, yeah, you know, if you were living in that town, and you, in this town, and this other, this rock and metal mecca existed in the United States, then you could just go there for a week or two, and like, you know, just get away from your town for a while, and interact with people that you kn that you could relate to, and hang out with, and be buddies with, because, you know, we could all get along, or better yet, you could just move there, and just get out of your small little town, where people disrespect you, disrespect you, just for simply liking rock and metal music, or like look at you weird or funny, which is to me really dumb. I mean, there's something wrong with the music. I think I think there's wrong. I think there's something wrong with those people in the first place. You know. Also, you know, like in terms of like mu music and places and stores and stuff like that. You know, I want there to be like fitness centers, like LA Fitness or places like that within the city. And yes, they would have to be playing rock and metal music too. I'm not gonna have it. I'm not gonna settle with the uh, pop music. I've been to an LA Fitness where they're playing pop music. I mean, come on, give me a break. Pop music is not workout music, people. Rock and heavy metal, especially heavy metal music, is what the true workout music. That's the kind of music you work out to. When you want to lay with, you listen to metal, not La Famo or whatever kind of pop music they were playing that day. I can't remember, but I remember it was just playing pop and like. I was like, you gotta be kidding me with this. This is a this is a gym. Anyway, so just throwing that out there to have like a mecca of rock and metal music in the United States or in like the continent of America, North America. Um, and I just want to bring that up because I think it'd be really cool if this were to ever happen, and. Uh, I think a lot of you would also find that very appealing as well. So, just, uh, I, I mean, I like, yeah, I mean, like, why not? 